portion of Daytime Tri-Cities is sponsored by ETSU Health. Once again, it is time for Meet Your Provider with ETSU Health here on Daytime Dry Cities. And right now I'm joined by Gloria Dudney, who is the Director of Lactation Services for ETSU Health. Good to see you again. It's a pleasure, Chris. You've been on our show before? Yes, sir. Yeah. Proudly. Uh, let's talk about your educational background. How did you get to this point in your life? Well, I began at Milligan College. Okay. Um, they have a, a pre-nursing program. I'm dating myself by by admitting that they didn't have their nursing program that they currently have. So, but it was a really cool co-op with ETSU at that time. Mm -hmm. So we could start at Milligan and do a couple of years of humanities and uh, those sorts of things and then transfer to ETSU. So I had right. the privilege of, of graduating um, from the most excellent college of nursing um, at ETSU. And then I get to call them both alma mater. So that's right. pretty great. Even though Dudney has the title of Director of Lactation Services at ETSU Health, she says the success of her department is a total team effort. We're going to launch care in multiple places and we need someone to coordinate that care. <laughs> so the, the breastfeeding yes. uh, phenomenon belongs to multiple primary care areas. The, mm. the OBGYN department, you know, preparing women, um, which is something that we, that's exclusive DTSU Health. We have a prenatal program um, where we meet with mothers before they deliver, which is right. the best time to learn things. Right. Um, and then the pediatric department and family medicine, where everyone is, is seen uh, at some point in their lives. Um, so we need help in all of those areas mm -hmm. to just provide access to families to have help with breastfeeding, because not everybody has a family member right. that can help them with that. While a team player, Dudney is a groundbreaker. She established the region's first outpatient lactation clinic. I was working at, at one of the pediatric clinics in town and I was on the phone, I was a triage nurse, and there were lots of questions that I could not answer. And I just found that unacceptable. <laughs> so I went and got the extra uh, training that we need for to be a specialist in breastfeeding. Uh, and so, and then that group allowed me to then launch a postpartum clinic. Dudney has also written a book entitled Mommy Friendly Breastfeeding, a book she calls a 10-year labor of love. And breastfeeding is just one of those things that we that mothers feel a lot of pressure to do and so I I want to make sure that we are meeting the needs regardless of her goals right. um, so that book is just a collection of all of my care plans and mm. uh, ways to kind of uh, handle the most frequently encountered challenges um, with the early weeks of breastfeeding it's not difficult forever but the first couple of weeks can be challenging but what has been the biggest change concerning breastfeeding from the beginning of her career to now? Our breastfeeding rates were much, much lower. Um, I'm very proud of Tennessee. We, we have had just a, an extraordinary increase um, over the time of my career. Let's talk about you personally. Tell us about your family life. and talk to. I know you're a big ETSU fan, so go I Bucks. I am. Go Bucks. Yes. <laughs> Yes, sir. I am. I, I'm proudly present yes. um, at, at many. I wish I could go to more of, of our athletic events. Um, I'm very, very proud. We have world class athletes. We really do. We really do. I'm very, very proud of them. Um, so, yes, that's one of my hobbies. Um, and uh, I sing in the church choir with my husband, right. um, which is how we met. So that's my probably my most favorite hobby. Um, we have four children uh, between us and seven grandchildren, mm -hmm. and they all live in Knoxville and Nashville. So we're and my husband's retired. Right. So we're on the road. Uh, yeah. We're on the road quite a bit, spending time with our with our grandchildren, which is of course every grandparent's uh, number one wish to do in their free time. All right, Gloria Dudney, thank you for taking some time. With my us pleasure, today. Chris. Thank you. All right, that was Gloria Dudney, RN. She is the Director of Lactation Services at ETSU Health. And we want to encourage you, if you have questions about anything that you saw during the piece today, please call 423-439-7272. The preceding portion of Daytime Tri-Cities was sponsored by ETSU Health.